Yeah, all right. So we're back in Nashville with Rob. Hello. And uh, you supposedly have a trick that you've made up on your own. This is like, this is first <laughs> yeah. heard ever done. Oh, yeah. No one's ever done this. <laughs> yeah. This is, people hire you just for this trick. Right, right, right. Well, you know, this is just a trick. Like, say <laughs> you're going <laughs> to, you're going to play like a power chord, yeah. uh, power chords in a big rock sounding chorus thing. Yeah. People are always wanting that to sound bigger than life. Right. And you would think that, like, the things that you would do to do that actually are, it's a little counterintuitive. Yeah. I always, I always used to do it with a lot of gain uh -huh. uh, and, and then doubling the part. Yeah. And somewhere along the way, I, I started thinking that that sounded actually smaller. And, and so I started backing off the gain and trying, like, different chord voicings against each other yeah. on different guitars. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the concept here that we right. can talk about. And then plus you can say, uh, you know that last session guy you had that you thought was so awesome? Bet you didn't do this. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how you get more work. Put everybody down. <laughs> exactly. Everybody else sucks but you. No. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to leave, I'm going to leave all of Rob's info down below too. He's got his own YouTube channel, so definitely check it out. He's going to start posting videos and all that stuff. He's got some killer stuff for your band playing too. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 And then this is going to be two parts. So we're okay. going to do uh, part two on his channel. So make sure you look mm. for that too, because we're going to, not only is he going to show you big sounds, but how to layer stuff as well. Layer apart. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get into it. All right. So, okay, so the, break it down for us. What, what, what's the what's the the idea? Okay, you... okay. Well, like if you're doing power chords in a chorus, a big rock sounding thing, what I want to do, it, what we're always doing is doubling up the guitars to try and get them to sound bigger. Well, I started finding that if you double the same guitar parts right. with the same inversions and everything, okay, they actually start to phase out a little bit. To me, they sound a little smaller. Then you start compensating with more gain. Then you can't really so get the note definition. Totally counterintuitive. Yeah, yeah. So to me, I came up with this way of uh, making tracks sound a little bit bigger, or power chords sound a little bit bigger by playing uh, two guitars with actually less gain. Right. Less is more. Less is more. <laughs> um, yeah, and, 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 and using different inversions against each other to create a bigger chord. Okay, so you know what I'm you're, saying? you're actually taking different... Uh, guitar the same chord but in different spots of the next or in a different tuning. yeah yeah or did to different yeah. tuning and and i'm going to show you more about the different two, two guitars tuned differently okay against each other right working together is the last fall just something you just go to or is that like when you go big sounds is that something you... uh yeah for me power chords some kind of gibson this okay a humbucker yeah. guitar okay. matched with another drastically different guitar. Okay, so what does this one by itself sound like? Okay, so just by itself... I mean, it's got some crunch on yeah. it, for sure, but it's not all gained up. And like, you can still hear all the notes. You can hear... Right. You know... Right. It's rock and roll. Yeah, you know, good good classic rock sound that okay. we all... Sure. Yeah. So, so are you just gonna lay down a track and then stack upon that, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let, let me record with let me record a few bars of the of a pattern. Then then we'll I'll show okay, you cool. with another guitar. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. It's the magic. Wish me luck. <laughs> No, you know what? That's that's a common thing uh, that I try to do too. Is uh, when you're doing this kind of part, it helps. It sounds more rock and roll if you just mute the thirds of the okay. chord. Okay. Cool. So, like in the you're not the E chord, chord yeah, yeah, I'm muting that with right. with my ring finger. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so that that would be one pattern right? that would be one pattern and so the you know? so now you bring in the other guitar do you do like left and right or do you stack yeah it yeah it, it it sounds more you can hear it more drastically if you spread it a little bit you know okay. i don't do drastic left and right I, sure. I like to just feather them out just a little bit you know? right so i noticed the guitar that you're using is a little unorthodox but this works on um 
nor, the scale is different. Right? Oh, the the next the guitar. next guitar. Yes. So, yes. but this would work on any. And you could just tune down your. Yeah, drum. you you can tune down or you know find a different position in the neck, higher or lower, uh, depending on what key you're in. Okay. You know, just try not to play the exact same chord uh, in the right. same position. That I think that's when you run into, it's it it doesn't really do what you're after. Okay, cool. Well, let's you know. check out the the uh, okay. Uh, guitar. Okay. So, dude, what's up with that thing? Bigger neck? What's going on? Yeah, longer neck. Okay. You know, not necessarily bigger. It's just longer. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's all well, how you use it. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, this is a Jefferson guitar uh, that I had him build. It's just, a, it's just a regular strap body, but it's got a baritone scale neck on it. Okay. Now, the, I don't have this guitar tuned down all the way to baritone uh, land, but, but it's tuned down two whole steps. Okay. So, like an open E chord yeah. is, is a C chord, right? That sounds pretty massive. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and there's, and there, yeah, and, and it's, that's why I had it made, you know, a lot of times. I would use baritone guitars for this, yeah. and it wouldn't quite work. Sure. A little too muddy. Right. A little too far yeah, down there. it has there. a very specific signature kind of thing. Yeah, and, and, and it, you're either playing too high to where you're you're pretty much sounding like a guitar, or, or too right. low, and right. you're down in the bass player's <laughs> right. range, and they, you know, that doesn't sound And it sound doesn't good. suck that the guy lives, Jeff lives right down here. He street. lives in my neighborhood. Yeah. He's, he's very close by. I can... Uh, freaking awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> But you were telling handy. me... Um, Different strings, too. Okay, yeah, so on this instrument, I have flat wound strings. That's something, you know, you don't have to have to do well, this. What's, but the, what's the catch? The, uh, the advantage is the flat wound strings just have more of, a, of an attack to them, to me. Yeah. And, and they die off in a different way than round wound strings. Okay. So Les Paul has round wounds. Right. Which kind of hang on a little bit longer and sizzle a little bit more. Okay. These are a little bit more dead sounding, a lot more fundamental to the note. You get a lot more immediate punch. Right, so they're a little more percussive almost. Yeah, they're a little more percussive, and, and but there's great, uh, with flat wound strings, it, with a distorted sound, you get a lot better, yeah. clearer dis, uh, uh, note separation in a chord. Like, to me, that's what I hear. Okay, you know? right. But, so, that that's another thing that I think is, makes this even cooler. If you, yeah. if you can throw flat wounds on a, on one guitar to do this, it's kind of, uh, it makes it even more complex. So. Yeah, and, you, and it's cool, like, this has different single coil, you were using a humbucker, yeah, it's like, yeah. everything's different. I think that's the key, really. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter what guitar is it, you use for this or whatever just try and play different chord voicings or two different drastically different sounding guitars if you're going to play the same sure. chords just the recipe has to be that that yeah. these the two guitars are are crossing into each other's uh, harmonic right. territory it's almost like they fill in the gaps of yeah whatever yeah the guitar yeah inherently has. it's it's okay to have one really thin bright guitar yeah Going along with a really dense, heavy guitar. Okay. That kind of actually works better than two really big guitar sounds. Interesting. Okay. You know. All right. So what's it sound like when you when you combine that? Okay. Studio? Like play the. Well, here's here's this without. Okay. That's you know. Those are the chords we're gonna be playing. So you're doing power chords basically. On yeah, yeah. Time. And and they and they just sound completely different to me than the Les Paul. <laughs> so this cool. this has a girth and a, and yeah. a clarity at the same time. Which is crazy because it's a strat too. I mean, not that the strats don't have it, but like that sounds big. It's it does sound big. Yeah. It's it's. I mean, I wish you were sitting right here. And you'd, be, <laughs> you'd be completely. Amazing. They wouldn't have room. We'd be yeah. Uh... <laughs> right. Yeah. So, We'd be sitting on your lap. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, let's let, let me layer this in. We're getting <laughs> off target here. Right, exactly. I don't know what to say. But let's just do it. Uh, so here's what it how it works. The distortion lasts too because like you're you're playing dynamically and it like it doesn't get so like it's big but it's still super dynamic. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about lose using less gain. It's, yeah, you don't have all that artificial compression going on. So yeah, as, you know 
that you can hear the dynamics of what you're doing Dude. as opposed to cranking up the gain on a pedal or right. whatever. I mean, that you just know. you stumbled upon that in the middle of just like divine... <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean, just, just, you're always, if, I mean, I'm in the studio a lot of times where, where people are just always, always, you're just constantly honing yeah. these kind of things, yeah. and so this is just a simple tip that I yeah. discovered somehow at some point. When somebody's like saying they, you created a big part, but they want something bigger. <laughs> yeah, something bigger, but they still want the definition right. of what's going on. You still need to be able to hear what the chords are and all that, so. Dude, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. That's a pretty cool uh, thing that I totally invented. <laughs> Dude. Thank you. That was freaking awesome. So oh. are, are we are we looking for, is this just like a, a, a schmidgen of what's to come? Are we like more studio tips? Or are you like, yeah. you let one out and that's it? No, so, no. I'm going to tell everything that I do in great detail <laughs> all the time so that everybody can do it. Right. Uh -huh. That's the point. Exactly. Dude, <laughs> freaking awesome. Okay, so again, check out all his links. I'm going to put them yeah. below. You also have music and a bunch of stuff too, right? Uh, yeah, music CDs available. Uh, like, yeah. where do they get it? Your website? Oh, uh, well, you can get it on iTunes or Apple Music. You can stream it on Spotify. Just look up Rob McNally. Okay. Um, Sweet. It's all available. And then I, I heard you had a live gig that you guys did. You throw up? Uh, yeah, well, we we play once a month at the right. Family Wash right now in East Nashville, and uh, other other clubs around town. But you're you usually a, what night? It's usually like a. Oh first... yeah, the first Wednesday of the month. Nice. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming into town, mm -hmm. uh, I highly recommend. You see, he's one of the. You're the one, the first show I saw in town. I was just oh like, yeah! Wow. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh like, man! <laughs> well, I'm glad you came out. Well, yeah, but like just the fact that like you and your session buddies are playing at a bar for yeah. free that had good yeah. food and yeah. good beer and like yep. really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only in Nashville. Only in Nashville. There's, <laughs> there's so much competition. You have to play for free. <laughs> Well, thank you once again. Thank you. All right, man. Awesome. Yeah.